Hello, and welcome back to another spectacular thing. Today we are working on part three of our Raspberry Pi NAS build. Today we are going to install Ubuntu Server, ZFS, and Samba for our NAS software. The first thing we need to do is SSH into Ubuntu. The username is Ubuntu. and the password is Ubuntu. Ubuntu forces you to change your password on first boot. So you have to type in your current password as well as a new password. And then it logs you out. Simply log back in and you're in Ubuntu. Next, we're going to do what I always do on servers. I stop and disable unattended upgrades. And that just takes a minute to, dis to stop. Then we want to disable it. Now the other thing that I like to disable is w, WPA supplicant. First we stop it. Then we disable it. And that's because we don't like to use Wi-Fi on a NAS server. We want all of the data to go over that wired connection. So the other thing that we want to do is clean up a little bit. So let's remove unattended upgrades. There. Now let's change our host name. For this, I'm going to use the same host name that I used in our last build, Sam. Sam the NAS. <laughs> and then we want to change our hosts file as well. Got to spell Etsy correct. Here we want to add in a line. 127.0.1.1 going to sam.spatacoli.local and sam. And that's that. Next we want to update our system. And this will take just a minute. And that's it. Next, we want to install the ZFS utilities for Linux. OK. <clears throat> Next, we can make sure that ZFS was installed with the where is command. And there it is. <laughs> The last thing we're going to do before we reboot is we're going to install the, the SATA hat software. This is the same as in part two.
and then we reboot. Next, we'll create a shared folder to share. We'll add compression. Next, we want to change some permissions on the share. And the change change the ownership. The dash R is recursive, so it'll also apply to the shares folder. Next, we want to install Samba. And that's that. Now that we've installed Samba, we need to go ahead and configure Samba. To do that, we say sudo vim etsy slash samba slash smb.conf. In here is a lot of comments describing what content is in this file. For example, if you want to change the workgroup name, you would change it here. The only thing that we're going to change is we're going to go to the bottom and add in our share. We're going to call it share. We're going to give it a comment. The path. We're going to say read only equals no, and we're going to say it's browsable. And that's all. We'll write those changes, and then we'll restart Samba. Finally, we're going to add our Ubuntu user to Samba with the command sudo smb password dash a Ubuntu and we'll give it a password. This does not need to be the same as your Linux password. And that's it. Now we can test our share. Here we are back on our Windows machine, and we're going to open up our shares folder that is on SAM. So slash slash SAM slash shares should open up this folder. Enter our username that we just created for Ubuntu. And now we're going to copy the same four and a half gig Windows Insider client file that we did in part two. And yes, we want to copy without its permissions. And you can see right away we're pretty high up. We're maxing out at 111, going down to about 90 megabits per second. But it's pretty consistent and it's pretty high. This we did with RAID Z, which is equivalent to RAID 5. So we have some redundancy of if one drive fails, we can put a new drive in and it will 
rebuild that drive. In this video, we installed Samba and ZFS on top of Ubuntu. We configured ZFS to be a RAID Z, and we also configured Samba to share a folder on our network. This is our NAS build that we are looking at here. In our last video, we installed Open Media Vault on top of RAID 5. We found that that was incredibly slow because of software RAID, and we tested it with just a single drive and found that it is about as fast as this RAID Z is. So I'm going to leave this RAID Z uh, ZFS um, partition in place and use this for quite a while to see how it works. Thank you for watching. This has been another spectacularly thing. Please hit the subscribe button and comment below if you have any comments for me. Thank you again and have a great day. Bye.